Hi students. Today we'll go. Today we are going to discuss about some uh, numericals related to distance and displacement. Some common examples, easy examples we'll start with. Uh, let us consider a square, a square path. This is the square path. Say a person is starting from A. A person is starting from A. First he is going from A to B. Then he is going from B to C. Then he is going from C to D. That much. First he was at A. Now he is at B. Now B to C. C to D. Say this side is 5 meters. So obviously all these sides are 5 meters. Since I have considered this as a square. So 5, 5, 5, 5. Now. The person was here at A. So what is the actual path he has covered? The actual path he has covered, that is the distance he has covered. Distance is 5, 5, 5. That is 15 meter he has covered. 5 meter, 5 meter, 5 meter. 15 meter since this is his position. Or you can say that this is his initial position and this is his final position. Initially he was here, he covered this distance, then this distance, then this distance. So 5, 5, 5, that is 15 meter. Now what is displacement? Displacement is the straight path from initial to final. Straight path from initial to final. This is initial, this is final. Initial, final. So what is the straight path? We will not take this. I said straight path. This is not the straight path from initial to final. From initial to final, this is not the straight path. This is the straight path. So what is this line? This line is 5 meter because this is a square. All the sides are same. So 5 meters. So initial to final, that is 5 meter. So 5 meter. Displacement is 5 meter. Another example. This is example number one. Example number two. Here also we are considering a square. This is also 5 meter. 5 meter, 5 meter, 5 meter. And the person is here at A. From A to B. Then from B to C. That much. First initially he was here. Finally he is here. This is his final position. Initially he was here, finally he is here. So that is 5 meter plus 5 meter. So he has covered 10 meter. That is his distance. So distance is 10 meter. Distance is 10 meter. Very simple. So what is his initial position? A. Where is his final position? C. So initial to final. This is the straight line. I told you to find the displacement we will always see initial to final. Initial to final. So this is my displacement. We have to find that. But this side is not given in the question. Only these sides are given. It is a square. To find this side is very easy. We will use Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem says that this is perpendicular, this is base and this is hypotenuse. So we know that hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So equal to perpendicular this 5. Base is also 5. 5 square plus 5 square. That is 25 plus 25. 50. So hypotenuse equal to root over 50. Root over 50 means 5 root over 2 meter. So displacement is 5 root over 2 meter. Displacement. So displacement equal to 5 root over 2 meter. So this is the distance actual path. But this is the displacement. The straight path. And this is the distance. And this is the displacement. So these are two examples. 
to find the distance and displacement. Let us consider one more example. Say, this is a rectangular park. A rectangular park. A, B, C, D. This side is 12 meter, 12 meter, 5 meter, 5 meter. A person is going from A to D, then D to C. A to D, then D to C. So if a person is going from A to D and D to C, so his distance is, distance means the actual path he has covered. That is 5 plus 12, 17 meter. Now displacement. Displacement. Displacement equal to initial position. Where is the final position? Here? No. Final position? No. This is the final position. From A to B, D to C. This is the final position. From initial to final. So again we have to find this hypotenuse. Again we have to find the hypotenuse. So let us find the hypotenuse. We know that hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square. That is 5 square plus 12 square. That is 25 plus so hypotenuse equal to root over 169 that is 13 we know that so this is 13 so what is the displacement displacement equal to 13 meter and this is the result i hope you understood we'll discuss about few more examples we'll discuss actually um, in our next session we'll discuss a uh, few more examples that is uh, we are going to uh, discuss about circles in our next class. Thank you.